Face your fears, bro. How's it going? Another video, another me. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoop. <laughs> all right, let's start. Hey there, Demir Han fam. How's it going? Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we are driving into your fears. Musician fears. The things makes us scared. <laughs> I hope you guys liked my last video, but before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell, so you never miss out the latest updates and news and videos and everything. All right, let's jump right into it. I think first we have to understand the concept of fear. There are so many things we can't control. One of the only things we can control is our thoughts. Only people who can control their thoughts are the ones with healthy psychology and mind. Stage fright. In a survey, 96% of musicians admitted that they feel anxiety before performance. As a professional violinist myself, I will tell you that it's completely normal to feel that way. The fear is only an illusion. The easiest way to... Oh, oh my god. <laughs> there are few things you should do if you are scared to go on stage and perform. Firstly, you have to master your work. Whatever you are going to play or whatever you are going to perform, you should be very good at it. You should learn the piece really well. There cannot be any notes that you are unsure or you didn't learn well enough. The other thing, when you practice in a room, imagining yourself on stage. Imagine there are thousands of people watching you and listening your practicing. I mean, not practicing, listening your performance. And that personally helped me a lot. Fear comes from our minds. When I was in high school, my old professor always made me play to my classmates and he didn't tell me about those before. I wasn't expecting that and he believed that shock feeling was the same feeling when you go on stage and perform. I remember one time when I was going to my violin lesson, one of my classmates, she was my crush that time and when I entered room, I saw her standing there because she came to listen my lesson. Actually, not my lesson. It was supposed to be my lesson, but my professor just found her and brought her to the room. As you can imagine, I got super nervous that time. But it doesn't matter if you make mistakes or not. What matters is how you play on stage. Many musicians practice a lot in their rooms. We master our pieces, which we should. But what we miss is stage practice. You just go, Invite your friends, especially your crush, and play for them. I hated stage when I was a child, but thanks to my professor who helped me to overcome my fear. The point is not to overcome your fear, but how to use it. I met so many world top class musicians. Difference between a student and a professional performer. They are the masters of controlling fear. Yeah, they are f strong, you know? Another thing you can do is to record yourself during your practice. You will realize when you click that red button, you will feel so nervous. You will feel like you are not that player who was just playing before. And one of the most famous musicians, I cannot remember who he was, but he told me that he was imagining people sitting there naked. Amazing. It helped him a lot. When he imagined audience sitting there wearing nothing, made him feel super comfortable. I have few techniques I use myself. For example, I always tell myself, we are in the matrix and this whole thing is not real. They are all NPCs sitting there and it really doesn't matter what you do, but what matters is you step on that stage and give the best of yourself. This is matrix new. Progress always involves risk. One time in Napoleon Hill's book, I read the six basic fears. And I think these six basic fears are connected to our music making. And I'm gonna explain it now. The six basic fears. Fear of poverty. This fear comes on top of this list. This fear is one of the worst fears of all and the hardest to overcome. Just be f rich. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
especially as professional musicians, we suffer a lot. We are living in poorness and we don't have money. We are thinking how to arrange concerts, festivals. Friends of mine are worried that they cannot find jobs. Around 80% of music students after graduation, they cannot find job. And I think this is terrible. We should ask ourselves, what the f is wrong with us? I'm kidding. Analyzing yourself will bring out your weaknesses, especially the worst ones you always run away. Signs of fear of poverty, indifference, indecision, doubt, concern, extreme caution, OMG. If you have one of these, then it is a sign that you have the fear of poverty. The next is fear of criticism. What improves our music? It is criticism. A musician cannot run away from criticism. We should have a strong mentality to not give a shit what others think or what others say. On the other hand, like I said, criticism makes us stronger, better. I am better. Signs of fear of criticism. It's coming. Lack of self-confidence. Just trust yourself, man. Like, is there a problem? Like, what? Weak personality. If your personality is weak as f then you are gonna suffer a lot. <laughs> Why should we have a weak personality? Just trust yourself. Fear of ill health. Just don't be sick and take care of your body. Take care of what you eat. Drink enough water. And more importantly, take care of your mental health. If you search Google, what musician suffers the most, which I did before starting this video, Google said mental illness. <laughs> you guys are not normal, or we are trying to be normal, or I don't know, something is wrong with us. Take care of your mental health. I know we will not. <laughs> Fear of loss of someone. Jealousy. Fault finding, always trying to find someone's mistakes, gambling, being needy, being insecure of yourself. This is very important for us musicians too, because I see so many people, when we listen a very talented guy or our friends get success or they share some good news. Why jealousy happens? Because those people are needy and they are insecure. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Because in reality, the universe will support the ones who take action and try to do something. So make mistakes, but keep doing those mistakes. <laughs> That's the thing which will improve you the most. Fear of old age. When we were growing up, our teachers always told us that until 25 years old, I have to achieve everything. I have to play certain repertory. I have to learn some pieces and I have to win competitions. To be honest, this kind of education is very old style education, which is good and bad at the same time. Now I am 25 years old. Luckily, I achieved a lot of things in my life. I won competitions, I gave concerts, I have nice video. Still, sometimes I, f I think about that. This thinking is a toxic mentality and it can be very dangerous in the long run. Many musicians suffer from this fear. They are 25, 26, 30, 33 and they think it's over for them. They don't have the passion which they had 10 years before. They don't have the energy. But all of us should realize it is not important when you start. It is important to start now. It is not important what we did last 10 years because it's already passed. What is important is what we do right now, this moment. Some of my friends suffered from these feelings and they were stressed. They were stressed a lot because they thought they don't have time anymore. Signs of fear of old age, premature aging. There are some people who think they are mature but they are immature and there are some people who are immature and they think they are mature. Apologizing because of old age. Never apologize because you are old. Every age has their own taste. Don't try to act young or don't try to act old. You are whatever you are. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Fear of death. Well. 
I don't know how to connect this with music actually. Just don't think on stage you feel like you wanna die or you feel like you are gonna die. No. Signs of fear of death. Thinking about dying. Don't think about dying. Just focus right now, this moment, because you are aging every second. So be careful. <laughs> Being sick or unstable. Well, don't be sick and don't be unstable. I'm kidding, it's not that easy. Being vulnerable to negative influences. I will tell this one time. Don't waste your time, energy for people who are always negative or who are thinking negative way. It's of course okay to share if something bad happened or we are feeling down. Good to go and talk with our friends, our girlfriends, boyfriends, groups. <laughs> Yeah, group therapy session, you know, <laughs> like this table here. At some point, they will also not want to hear your negativity. You should always try to protect and have the positive mindset. Negativity will help you zero. What you have to do is systematically wear down the fear. If you retreat every time you meet fear, it will grow. What you have to do is every time you meet fear, don't be lazy, but wear it down whenever you find it. That way, after a while, you will begin to conquer your fear. Of course, fear is subjective. When I feel fear, I perceive it as a challenge. Whenever I feel fear holding me back and I'm torn between making the decision of going on stage and perform or just any kind of performance, I go and do it. Just do it. It's like an invisible muscle and develops over time. When you feel fear and hesitating between doing or not doing, think about this. What do I gain if I do? When you go on stage and perform shit, you will still stay in one piece. Think about all the bad things happening in the world. It is not the end of the world. Every musician, every top violinist, every famous people, they did all kind of mistakes they could ever done. So you should stay hard all the time because chance will not tell you that I'm coming. So that's it. Thank you all for tuning in today and remember you keep stay hard. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Until then stay hard and I will see you in the next video.